With this video, I will show you the server action steps that are required to upload multiple images and save their names in the database table. If anything is not clear, please go to the Wepler docs and head to the server side components of the documentation. Under Server Actions, choose Images then Insert. Right click Steps and add a database connection. Right click the database connection and add database insert. In the Properties panel, name the action step. Click on Insert Options. In the Open dialog choose the Images table. Ensure that the three fields are listed with their correct values. Click OK. Save our action steps. We will now correct our post values. Click on Globals then Post. Choose Image File and in Properties change the type to File. Check the multiple box to reflect multiple images. Save our action steps. Next we will upload our images. Right click the database connection. In the open dialog choose file management and add file upload. Give the upload step a name. Choose the upload fields. Select the image path icon and select the galleries folder. Add a subfolder and give it a name of our post variable. Choose the options. Save our database action step. Next we will add a repeat region. Right click the file upload step. In the open dialog choose core actions and add repeat. Give the repeat step a name. Select an expression for the repeat. Select the file upload as an expression. Select the database insert step and drag it to the repeat step. Choose the database insert action. Click on insert options. In the open dialog change the value of the image file column to, name, under the repeat steps. Click select. Click OK. Save our action steps. Next we will resize the image to suit our application. Right click the repeat step. Choose image processor and add load image. Choose a name for the image. Select the image path. In the pop-up, select path under the repeat step. Right click the load image step. Choose image processor and add resize image. Enter a width for the image. Check upscale. Right click the image resizer step. Choose image processor and add save image. Give the step a name. We name it large image. Choose the path folder icon. Choose the galleries folder. Add the subfolder giving it the name of image gallery ID. Don't forget the closing brackets, as I did. Check the overwrite box. Save our action steps. Next we will create the thumbnail image. 
Right click the Save Image step. Choose Image Processor and add Load Image. Choose a name for the image. Select the image path. In the pop up, select path under the repeat step. Right click the load image step. Choose image processor and add resize image. Enter a width for the image. Right click the image resizer step. Choose image processor and add save image. Give the step a name. We name it thumbnail image. Choose the path folder icon. Choose the galleries folder. Add the subfolder giving it the name of image gallery ID. Add a sub sub folder and give it a name of thumbs. Check the overwrite box. Save our action steps. Drag the database insert step as last in line. Save our action steps. We are done. In our next video, Part 8 of our tutorial, I will show you how to add the server action steps to list the images. Thank you for watching.